Today we'll be looking at how this artificial heart will soon be on the market in Europe. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the illuminating scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Heart disease is one of the leading causes of death in the world, especially in the United States and Western Europe. Medical research has come up with several ingenious alternatives to common cardiac conditions, such as pacemakers, which fix irregular heart rhythms, stents, holding clogged arteries open so that blood will flow, and bypass surgery, which implants a healthy blood vessel from another part of the body to redirect blood around a blocked artery in the heart. These techniques protected and extended the lives of millions of people. Today, there is another alternative for cardiac patients, and this one goes beyond merely treating an arrhythmia or single artery, a true artificial heart. If you're getting a lot of questions like, how does it work? Will the body reject such a huge alien object and in such a critical place? What keeps things going? You're not the only one. The artificial heart is developed by a French firm named Karma and is intended for people with end-stage biventricle heart failure. That's when both of the heart's ventricles, chambers at the bottom of the heart that draw in and pump blood out from the lungs and the rest of the body, are too weak to execute their role. Like a normal heart, there are two ventricles in the artificial heart. One is for hydraulic fluid and the other for blood, and the two are separated by a membrane. The blood side of the membrane is composed of a cow's heart tissue. The motorized pump pushes the hydraulic fluid in and out of the ventricles, and the fluid moves the membrane to allow blood to circulate through it. There are four biological valves, so named because they are also made out of cow's heart tissue. Embedded electronics, microprocessors, and sensors continually control the reaction of the operation of the patient. For example, they exercise, the blood flow increases, just as it does in a real heart. That's what separates the product of Karma from the artificial heart created by the American company Syncardia. Theirs is a fixed rate unit, meaning that until the beat rate is set for the heart, the beats per minute remain the same regardless of the patient's operation. Karma's unit weighs 900 grams or less than two pounds. It's about three times the weight of a normal human breast. Externally, patients are holding a small bag of actuator fluid, a controller, and a lithium ion battery. The idea behind this heart, which was born nearly 30 years ago, was to create a device that would replace heart transplant. A device that works physiologically like a human heart and one that is pulsating, self-regulating, and blood compatible. At present, however, Karmit's product is not a definitive solution. It has been accepted as a temporary substitute while patients wait for donor hearts and is expected to last around five years. Karma announced in November 2020 that one patient had been living with the implanted heart for a record two years. Scientists have experimented for a long time to recreate functioning models of human organs using engineered materials. One of the most desperately needed organs is the kidney, and it's still one of the hardest to recreate. In contrast, perhaps unexpectedly, the heart is one of the least complicated organs. It doesn't have hundreds of thousands of intricately organized kidney nephrons or the complex insulin monitoring function of the pancreas. It's just a small pump to pump blood into our bodies. After receiving the CE label, a kind of stamp for goods sold in Europe to signify compliance with the health and safety standards, at the end of 2020, the artificial heart of Karma will be commercially introduced in Germany and France the second quarter of this year. The company has obtained clearance from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to launch an early feasibility study in the U.S. this year. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.